yes today we are back in our video and today you are learning the basic clapper insane fundamental move that everyone needs to get down let's get into it okay so this move is super important for the street you can use it in 3v3 5v5 1v1 or just in your ground moves we're gonna break it down right now there's five touches we're gonna break it down in two parts let's get into it part one what it is it's gonna be the l turn so the l turn looks a bit like this and it's just a move that lots of people use in the left side, change direction. So what's super important for this move, there's also hops. What I mean by this is we're gonna start with our foot on the ball and the first step is to move the ball behind our standing leg, like so. So step one is to move the ball back as we hop our weak foot forward, like so. If we didn't do the hop, it would just look like this and we're not gonna have speed later on. So step one, move the ball as we hop, like so. You do this just by putting weight on the ball and then you can hop. Just to get used to this, I recommend moving the ball backwards and forwards as you hop and alternate ways, like so. And now to complete the L turn, as we've moved the ball behind our standing leg, we're gonna turn, change the direction by flicking the end of our toe. When we do this move, we can change at a variety of angles. We could change at a very acute angle or we could change a very large angle. What we're gonna do for the clapper, we want to keep our shoulder straight and we want to act in a V motion, all right? What I mean by this is we're gonna start with our shoulders forward, we're gonna put our leg out, we're not gonna have our strong leg out straight, we're gonna have it out slightly, hips open, and now when we do the L turn, we're aiming to create this V. So we want the ball to come out this way, so we can collect it with our left foot. That car was loud. We came all the way to Holland and we still have loud cars. <laughs> Please comment if you hate the cars. I hate the cars. <laughs> but I do have a, a Netherlands t-shirt on, you know? Wow. Represent, represent the Dutch man, Lekker man. Uh, anyway, so the aim is we're going to do an L turn, we're going to move the ball back, we're going to hop forward and we're going to release it towards our weak foot. We're then going to stop it with our weak foot and that's the end of part one. Just like this. You can repeat this as much as you want. One, two. When we stop the ball with our weak foot, we're going to use the tip of our toe. We're not going to stop it here. We're going to grab it. So when you can do this five times in a row without making a mistake, we'll move on to part two. So five times in a row, we're just gonna go like this, roll it across the front, yep. You should be able to do this. Now, we're gonna move on to part two. Okay, so part two, we've done the L turn, we've now got the ball on our weak foot. This is kind of the retrieval stage. What we're gonna do, we're gonna switch back to our strong foot. We have just completed L turn, out of v-shape now we have to go back in the opposite direction to finish the v and get it back on our strong foot what we're going to do this is pretty confusing so listen up we're going to roll the ball slowly slowly backwards behind behind our legs so what i mean by we're going to roll it we're going to put our feet together we're then going to reclaim the ball with our right reclaimed okay reclaimed slowly behind not this not this this is a pretty good move but the wrong move so what we want we've got the ball here we're going to roll it feet together Grab, other angle, here, roll, grab, yeah? And I'm looking at it. I see people do these three common mistakes. I think they roll the ball between their legs and it just kind of doesn't work out because it's not, you know, it's not a, it has to go, you know, it has to go behind your leg to do the clapper properly. Or I see people as they're doing it, they're not looking at the ball. So they're kind of like doing it at weird angles and they can't quite see it doesn't work out you have to look at the ball the whole time once you've got the ball on your left foot you're going to look at it see it pull it forwards the third and final mistake which i see very very often is that people do not fully extend their weak foot what's really important for a clapper for it to look nice as you do the v move you have to have your leg fully extend before you pull back this just looks nicer okay if you have it very short it's kind of like behind you and it's kind of like ugly whereas if you have it like this looks really good so we're still on part two when the ball coming behind us slowly slowly coming behind us at the v angle we put our feet together what's going to take a lot of practice is making sure you get this angle right lots of the time when i was practicing i'd roll it hit my foot i'd roll it too far behind so just make sure that when you roll it you get it so it just comes behind this will take practice so then we have to reclaim the ball as i mentioned so to reclaim the ball we have to wait until the time is right now is when it's just past our weak foot. Now we're gonna pull the ball forwards and hop backwards. Okay, so when it's past our weak foot, we should just put down, we're gonna pull the ball forwards and hop back. 
it's the exact same as what we did at the start of the combo when we moved the ball back and hopped forwards, just inverted. You might ask Jack, why do I do the hop? Well, it's gonna be super important if you want to do the clap hop with speed. I'll show you why. So, I'm gonna try and do it as fast as possible without hopping. It's super slow, however, with hops, you get your feet out of the way really fast, which means you can do it really fast. So, hops are important, they're hard to get your head around, but once you get it, it'll be worth it. So, we're gonna do a full reclap of the clapper, and then you'll have it down. Okay, so a full recap, this is it all together. Touch one here with the hop, touch two across, touch three, roll back, touch four, forwards, five, stop the ball, and another hop. So there's two hops, one is at the start, and one is at the end, and the five touches as explained. First two of the L turn, third is with the roll back, fourth reclaim, five, that stop. Next step is to do it continuous. I feel like you get a skill down when you can do it five times in a row without fail. So next step to make sure we've got this move down, we're gonna try and get it continuous. I feel like when you can do a move five times in a row without failing, that's when you've learned it. So we're gonna do part one, part two, part one, part two. When you can do that five times in a row, then we're gonna take out the stop between the two parts. So look a bit like this. Then we're gonna try and do that five times. Okay. And then, once we've done that five times, we're gonna take out the pause on our strong foot. Van de Beek. You already know he's getting pulled on that truck. <laughs> and then when you can do that five times, we're gonna take out the pause between the individual claps. So, we're just gonna carry on. This means that instead of stopping the ball, we're gonna go forwards and immediately roll it back into the L turn. It's no longer gonna be this, it's gonna be, which means we have to get used to doing a hop back, hop forwards to carry on. Back, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards. And when you can do this five times, that's when you've got it. I've been doing this move for many, many years. Half the time you'll be able to do it without looking, and that's pretty damn cool as well. So if you get this down, I wanna see you doing clapping with the right technique. It doesn't have to be fast, it just has to be with all the hops, full extension, the V angle, and if you can do it without looking, who knows? Ah, you might get shared on my page. Let's get it. But, 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 you lot requested a tutorial on this variation of clapping. There are many variations of the clapping. For example, we've got one-footed clapping. We've got one-footed V clapping. We've got one-footed clapping around the back. We've got ambidextrous, oh no, two-footed clapping. We've got ambidextrous clapping. Then, of course, we've got normal clapping, all right? So, if you want a tutorial on the other variations of clapping, Comment which one you want, and we'll get around to doing it. And, 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 make sure you've liked, commented, subscribed, hit the bell, all of that. If you learned something, you know how we do. Let's get it.